Hi loves, it's Emmy. Um, welcome back to my channel. So I am a little bit late with this one, but I wanted to do um, a whip parade um, from what I have so far, and then my plans for 2019, um, and I think that's it. So I definitely have more haul, or more whips um, than I had in my last video. I hadn't started a couple of those. So, um... So I'll go over a couple of the things that I want to start in 2019. I started a bunch of things, but there are a couple that I'm still waiting on um, some fabric and waiting on some flosses and all that kind of stuff. So um, the first one is I am waiting on the called for flosses for Seeds of Freedom by Silver Creek Samplers. So I have the fabric. I'm just waiting on... Um, I could have converted it, but I really loved the way... That this looks um, and so I'm excited to get the called for um, I might actually dye it because um, I I might dye my fabric I mean because this is just a white 28 count even weave um, and they stitched it on a 32 count golden harvest um, uh, a Lugana so I um, I might like coffee diet or something like that because I think that would look really cool especially for this one so I'm waiting to do that um I also am I just need to start which I might do later today um Tule uh, Dimini, I think that's how you say it I'm pretty sure uh it's it's a heaven and earth design and oh you know what it's on there it is on this one And so I just need to put a stitch in. I just haven't. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Ah! As soon as I need to get to it, of course, it automatically starts updating. Anyways, I'll show it later. <laughs> oh, it's just my luck today. Um, so I'm going to start that one. I also am going to start, I'll show that one in another video once I actually start it. I also need to dye some fabric for the epic Disney Princess from Cloud Factory. And then I also want to start the U.S. Presidents by Cloud Factory. There's a couple other ones that I have. Um, like I have the Henry VIII and his wives. Oh, also don't mind, I'm freezing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> the last like two days I have not been able to get warm. So I literally have on my sweatshirt jeans, long socks, and my bathrobe <laughs> because I'm so cold and I have a cup of coffee. So we'll try to warm up. We'll see if it works. Probably not, but you know what? It doesn't even matter. Okay, so it is um, January 6th today. I go back to work tomorrow. Um, so my kind of plans for 2019 are to do kind of like a no spend on charts. So I don't need to buy any more charts. Um, I think I have enough floss um, to get me through. My plan is hopefully not start anything besides the, the things that I already knew I wanted to start and was kidding them up um, for the last month or so. Um, my plan is to not start anything new unless I finish something. So, um, I don't have too many full coverage pieces. I currently have, um, let's see, with Tule that would be four Hades and then one other full coverage piece, um, and then a lot of smaller things. Um, so we'll just jump right in. So I have my first, and I was working on Beatrice this morning. Beatrice is my Contessa. Contessa with squid. And I need to make her a new little project bag. But I got a pretty good amount done on her, actually. I got a couple rows. So, just a bunch of 310. So, um, and I actually took off the first, or the two rows, um, all around. Because it was just a ton of 310. And I needed her to fit on fabric. So, she is in that bag. I need to make oops, I need to make a little thing for her because there's so much extra fabric. I don't want to get it all weird. Okay, so that is my 
first of, I'm just gonna go through my bag. These aren't in order of like when I started them, all that kind of stuff. So don't mind the order of them. My next whip is the Harry Potter class schedule sow that started in January, last January. Um, and I am this far on it. Yep. Yeah. But, you know, it's just what it is. <laughs> I'll get to it. I actually really enjoyed, um, there was a Facebook group for everybody that was in the South. And there was a lot of people that did kind of like their own, um, you know, they added to the chart and they did some conversions and so I actually once I saw those um I I was about I really started that in about February or March um of last year and I was doing pretty good on it because it's not full coverage it's just you know little pieces um but then when I saw everybody's conversion I was like ooh, maybe I should wait and then just like pick out the, the ones that I that I want so I will probably go back sometime in the next couple weeks and basically for each block pick out the little additions that I liked and then just kind of stitch on it um oh yeah thanks for that uh my next one is what I'm doing for a stitch along and it is epic harry potter so I have that done so far. I've also really enjoyed stitching on this one too. It's been really quick. Um, yeah, I just really like it. I really like how um, I'm stitching that one. This is on I think an 18 count and I'm doing it just two over one. But I really like the stitches. The detail is really coming out. And this is just whoop, the little like Fort Lee kind of guys. The little flourishes with my Ravenclaw. Needle minder, duh. But I really like that one. I'm excited to work on that. Okay. Next is oh yeah, my Edgar Allan Poe, my Nevermore. It's a Nevermore sampler, and that is how far I'm in that one. And I'm stitching this one um, two over two. Um, and I restarted this one in my past video. Um, I had gone back and forth about what I wanted to do and, and all that. Um, I restarted it and I actually am just going to use the call for DMC. Um, I kept going back and forth with all the little fancy flosses until I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to do the call for DMC and we'll figure it out. And this is what this one looks like. This is from, I know it's the 2013... Just cross it. And that's what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the cold for in that one, but I need to make a little project bag for that. I'm doing this now because I need to go through and catalog all of them. <laughs> Um, I also am doing, uh, this is an electronic pattern. It's the um, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit's menu. So it's like um, breakfast, second breakfast, 11Zs, all that kind of stuff. So this is my start on that. And I really was excited to start this one and then my iPad died. So that's my start <laughs> for that one. So I will get back to this. As you can see, I wanted to start a bunch so I wouldn't be tempted to buy anything because now I have a lot of stuff to work on. I also started um, A Way We Ride by Blackbird Designs. And I am doing this one in the Called For DMC on the Called For Linen. And it is a... Oh no, that's not true. I lied. This one I'm just doing on... Like a natural linen, I think. And you guys know my phobia of linen. So, this is big for me. Okay. I'm doing this one in the uh, called for DMCs. So. I'm actually enjoying some linen. linen. I gotta say, it's, um... I like the look of it. It looks, it just looks really good. It adds to that kind of old 
feel. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, so that's like um. Yeah, that's just a cashew linen. It's natural. So, what are those? Weird. Yeah, so it's just that. Um, the next one that I started was a Stitcher's Prayer. And all my, sorry, all my floss is in. And I did a couple of the, of, I did one conversion, really. Um, I switched out the red in this, um, the red flowers for a purple, 3041. And then the house I'm doing 3768, which is like kind of a gray blue. So I'm excited for those, that co those color changes. That's just definitely more my colors. And if this, you know, I want this to be kind of my things, I want to hang it up. So that can be a gift to anybody. I feel like weirdly is most of what I search for. But I think that's, that's why you do it, right? Because you enjoy it. This one is on the called for. So this is a natural linen. And I just got a really teeny tiny start on this one. In the purple. They're all kind of teeny tiny little starts. So that is my start. On the linen. It is hard for me to stitch on linen though because because I'm not really used to it yet. Um, I have it has to be daytime, and most of my stitching gets done at nighttime. So I feel like this will be more of kind of like a weekend piece. Both of the ones that I have on linen, I can do the even weave. Um, fine, I can do the Nevermore one. It's just the the actual linen that I struggle with without really good lighting. I could probably do it with like a really good light, but it's just much easier to do it in daylight hours. Okay, um, next is my face is a fairy. And this was my first Hade. I haven't got a lot of stitching on this one since uh, a month ago, a month and a half ago. But that is where I'm at. On that one. This one isn't that big. It's, um, I think it's like an 11, like a 10 by 10. So it's a pretty perfect square. Um, and this one's on 18 count as well. I really enjoy 18 counts for my haids for full coverage because I feel like it's big enough to where it's not teeny tiny. I'm doing this one just two over one. Um, so you get, you know, like that good stitch. You can see it really well. Um, but it also isn't like crazy gigantic like my Contessa. But that's okay, whatever. Um, I also started an Etsy design that was a Middle Earth map. And honestly, I don't know about copyright, but I've been really wanting this one, and so I got it. Um,. I don't think they have changed it enough where it's like their own artwork, but whatever. So, but that is my start. Just that line of 310. There isn't a lot of 310, which I was kind of excited about. Um, not just because Contessa with Squid is so 310 heavy, but just because I didn't want a lot of that map to be black. I want it to be, you know, dark browns and dark reds and all that. So, that's really what it is. Then I'm doing this one on in this might be a 16 count I think it was a 16 count Ada might be a 14 count I, I don't know I don't keep the little things honestly I'm sorry I'm sorry okay next is my uh, Salem Witch Trials in Memoriam it's by Witchy Stitch And this is where I'm at so far. I really enjoy this one too. I'm doing this one with um, pearl cotton, with just one strand of pearl cotton. So it's really, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's really bumpy. I like that. There's a lot of dimension. I really like that. 
and this one is kind of my travel piece because it is just big blocks of 310. So I'm going to have that in my little Minecraft project bag. Okay, next one is my Field of Fucks. It's fun to like take these all out and because I wanted to start so many. Oh, there we go. So there's that one. I wanted to start so many. So then I would just have a bunch to work on throughout the year. Um, and so it's, I haven't picked up a whip in a while because I've been starting a bunch of stuff. So it's fun to pull these back out and be like, yay, I missed that one. Okay. This one is my... It's going to be a compilation of gingerbread houses. And this one is gingerbread house six. Which looks like that. From Country Cottage Needleworks. And I did a little bit more snow, but not a ton. So, that is where I'm at. Like I said, there's not a lot to these starts, guys. They're quite small. But I have only really been cross-stitching for about a year. Um, technically, it's been almost two. Right? No, about a year and a half, maybe. But I took, like, a six-month break where I literally didn't touch any cross-stitch for a while. Um, also, weirdly enough, it was a time when I was really burnt out and um, really struggling at work. Go figure. Um, okay, this one is, um, of course, the chart is hiding. I'll show you on this one. So this one is Jamestown Santa, which is that one, if you guys can see it. Oh, whoops, that one. And so that's my start that I have. And this is the first time I've ever done beads. So I have both the Plymouth Santa and um, the Jamestown Santa, but I'm missing the Williamsburg Santa. Um, and so, if any of you guys know where to get it at, I think 123 Stitch still has it. I have to check. But, sure. but if any of you guys know, let me know. Because I really want to go get that because that those would just be adorable. Okay. <laughs> This was the first linen piece that I did. I haven't gone back to it, but I really want to because now I'm excited. So this was for a snowfall. And I still have those five stitches. Well, bam. I think I even need to... Oh, I think just one's off, but I think it's my last stitch. So I won't have to frog a lot, but... I'm excited to go back to this one. This one is it's relative it's a it's um a country linen, which I don't know if, if that's supposed to be kind of um whoops, maybe drop oh kind of uneven or not. It just looks there's definitely points to it that's a little more bulky than the other. But anyways. And all these project bags I do make myself. Um I need to get back to it, though. I haven't made one in a while. Um, then I started this, I um, don't know, Artiste kit, um, which is Christmas window. And, um, yeah, all that blue is not fabric. <sighs> um, yeah, this is the first kit I've ever done. And I'm going to be honest with you. I was about to tear out all of this it's I think it's cornflower blue I think that's what it calls for but um oh my gosh it wanted to separate like so much and it was driving me crazy but that is my start on that one the Ada is really um really stiff so and I was just stitching this one in hand because I didn't know how much fabric I was gonna need and all that. I actually am not minding stitching by hand. I'm stitching. I'm stitching all the linen pieces by hand until I get the hang of it. 
I actually don't mind. I'm stitching Contessa with squid in hand because that one I'm playing um, fabric chicken with and so I can't put it in a cute snap yet <laughs> or a scroll frame. Um, I was also maybe planning on starting these two um, this year in acorn sampler and then um, blue and white still life. So they're just two kits that I got. Oh, actually there's three. What's the other one? Oh yeah, the family tree sampler. So I figured those would just be easy starts. Everything's split up already. Um, don't have to buy anything. So if I needed a new start, I can pick one of those. Okay. Then I have the American Primitive. Which is my hopefully um, county fair piece. I did get a little bit more done on. Let's see that. Oh, it's really dark. Why is it so dark? Brr. There we go. You can kind of see it better. So, and honestly, I don't have, I mean, I do have a lot left to go, but this one stitches up really quick. Um, it's a really cute little quick stitch. So I enjoy that one a lot. I don't even know. I need to like keep track of numbers, but whatever. Next is the Dumbo piece. Oh, Dumbo. It'll get done. Maybe by his first birthday. Who knows? Haven't done any work on it. You know how I was going to finish this in December? Yeah, that didn't work. It's Dumbo. I should pull him back out, though. I do. I like stitching this one. It's just those blended threads, man. They hurt my eyes. So I need to, and I'm, of course, I'm doing this video instead of stitching. And this is like the perfect daylight because it's like 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Just kidding. I can't. Open my coffee. Hmm. And of course my coffee's cold. Lovely. Okay, this is another new start. I was toying around with different project bags. So this one I made it snaps. And this is um Pine Needle Christmas ornaments. And I'm also stitching this one. Um, two over one, I believe. And, oh, I do have needle. Okay, good. And that is my start. This one that actually I really like a lot. I think it's this the even weave that I just love so much. Um, but yeah, that's my start for this one. And I am doing some color um, conversions because I'm not a fan of light blue at Christmas. So I changed it to a dark, um, a darker blue and then kind of like a crimson. And, oh, forgot to put the pattern in there. The chart. I still have that one on the cue set. I'm going to take that off. But anyways, that's that one. Then I have my, um, Game of Thrones map. Wow, map of Westeros, which I also haven't touched in forever. But I am really enjoying this one too. Because it's just a bunch of color blocks, basically. So I do need to figure out. I wish there was a bigger picture that I could show you guys, but it's literally just the chart. Um, because they um, don't have anything as any color for like the ocean where the ocean is. Um and or the body of water I don't know what it's called so I was interested to see if I could basically do my own colors for the ocean because I don't want it to just be the white of the fabric maybe I'll do like a variegated or something I don't know we'll see we'll see when we get there I actually have to work on it in order to start making different conversions and stuff okay um then I have my map of Hawkman Hollow and I was actually able to stitch a little bit on this one. I can't remember when I, last time I did a video. So I don't know if this is new since then. But I basically got the, the words done for that. So 
And again, all these, I freaking love stitching on. I almost want to, I understand now why people do um, rotations. Because for the most part, you wouldn't start a project and you wouldn't stitch a project that you didn't like. So going back through all my whips, I have those moments where I'm like, oh, I missed this one. I want to do that. And so now I understand why people do rotations because you get that feeling every time you get to, you know, you start st stitch on a project. So I get it, people. I understand now. I'm one of you. Okay. My next one is my poison apple. Which looks like this, but I am converting the white in this to green. Everything else is going to be the same. And that is how much I have on it. Nope, this way. Yeah. That's just that green. And then the next one I have is a villain's piece. But I'm kind of annoyed because I didn't know there was like a ton of half stitches. Which is fine, whatever, but I also don't want to think about those. So that's the chart. I love the chart, but I literally started it and haven't picked it back up. And <laughs> that is my start. Where is it? See, I can't even tell where it is. Where is it? It's white. That's the hard thing. Oh, it's right there. See? I can't even tell. Oh my gosh. Right there. Yeah, there's like seven stitches. The first, I don't know, number one, why I started with white. Oh, yes, I do, because it was in the middle. Um, I should have started with like a purple or something, but it was in the middle, and so that's why. In my head, I'm like, why did I start with white? white on this fabric. It's going to look great when it's done, but right now it's kind of a pain. So those are in my Disney, I had to make a matching Disney villains bag, obviously. Oh my gosh, I keep dropping these, you guys. I'm telling you, today, whew, today is like, I feel like the year 2018. Just needs to, a uh, bye bye Get out of here. Ooh, that pile is getting high. Okay, my last one is my cauldron, which I also did a conversion, a color conversion for. So, this is what it looks like. And I ended up just doing all, oh, all green up here so it basically goes from light green to dark green but everything else is the same and I'm using pearl cottons I haven't worked on this one either and that is my start can you guys see that Nope, there we go. So, and I'm using one strand again, so it is going to be pretty bulky. But I'm really excited about it. Because I like this a lot. I really like this chart. Okay, so that is all my whips, you guys. I don't have a ton. I actually thought this was going to be way more. Um, so let's see. Cause that's one, two, three, four. I'm gonna put these back in my bag. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I have 20. And then with like the four other ones. So, okay, if I do 25, I think that would be perfect. Oh, but then I also have the bathroom. But that one is kind of in my, that's like my travel piece. Oh, and then I also have Night Watch Bros. Okay, so maybe I'll have more like 30. Whatever. I'm turning 32 next year. So maybe I'll just have 32. There we go. That sounds good. Oh, and then I forgot Contessa. So yeah, it's going to be more like 30 for sure. Um, oh yeah, and then all those in that bag. Yeah. It might even be more like 35. Anyways, um, that is everything. I know I'm only at a half an hour. That was like such a lame whip grade, but whatever. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, my plan is to not buy anything um, that is a chart. Um, I'm going to do like what Christine did where she puts like all the names and everything in, in the little jar. I haven't even started it because honestly, I haven't found anything that I... I almost like forget <laughs> that I'm still like writing the names down and stuff because now I'm just doing like a, oh, I don't even need to look at that. I don't, I don't need to look at Sash Unload. I don't need to go on Etsy. Like I just, I haven't done it. Um, so I have to kind of be like, no, you can still, you can still do that. You need to like have things because there are going to be things. I know there's going to be things. Anyways, that is it. I am, I'm hopeful that you guys all had a really good New Year's and a good holiday and are ready to kind of get back in the swing of things like me. Today was going to be a house cleaning day, but then I met with Chelsea and Michelle this morning and then I went to breakfast with my husband and some friends and um, I was just kind of over it. So yeah, I'm not going to clean today. I'm just going to stitch and hang out because it's my last day of vacation so I feel like I can do that um anyways have a wonderful week and I will see you guys next week with an update happy stitching everybody bye